Today's tutorial will demonstrate how to create character animations using Meshi, Blender, and Mixamo. Firstly, we will use Meshi to generate 3D character models. Go to Text to 3D to start creating your character model. Choose a pose with legs apart to avoid issues during rigging. Avoid generating non-human body structures like large tails or complex fabrics, as Mixamo may have difficulty rigging these parts. If the result is not ideal, use Meshi's AI texture editing to fix flaws or regenerate the model. Next, in Blender, we will process the base mesh to ensure smooth rigging with Mixamo. After importing the FBX model, adjust its position, scale, and rotation. Use a character model downloaded from Mixamo as a scale reference. Rotate the model to face the Y-axis and manually adjust it to the correct position. Ensure the model is at the world origin. When fixing the model, ensure. The feet are firmly on the ground. The model is symmetrized for proper bone rigging. Before importing into Mixamo, reset all transformations and export the FBX file. Now, onto the third part, rigging the character with Mixamo. Upload the model to Mixamo and adjust the joint positions. Select two chain fingers for hand bone rigging, which is most suitable for meshy models. Preview the rigging result. If you are satisfied with the result, proceed to the next step. If there are rigging issues, such as strange distortions like the character's beard, it's recommended to download the model then use Blender's weight paint mode for manual weight adjustments. Afterward, re-upload the model. Mixamo will automatically recognize bones and weights and fix rigging errors. Download the rigged T-Pose or A-Pose character and appropriate animation assets ensuring adjustments like arm space values. Finally, we'll create animations in Blender. Import the T-Pose or A-Pose character model. If textures are missing, they can be copied from the Meshi model. Ensure the armature is returned to its initial A-Pose state to avoid animation errors. Import animation assets, then name and organize animation clips in the action editor. Apply animation assets to the A-Pose model or use non-linear animation to blend multiple animations. Create compelling visual effects by placing multiple character animations in the same scene. That's it for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.